Hi guys! So today I would like to share something about um, how did I study my Mandarin. Actually, if I say that my Mandarin is not actually the best, but when I was studying in China, I find it really hard to uh, memorize all the vocabulary, memorize all the uh, Chinese character, and it's it's not easy for me because. It's hard for me to focus when I'm studying, but uh, how did I learn all the language? Uh, how did I learn my in Chinese actually is um, when I attend my school, after I go back, I try to speak Chinese as much as I can, even though my Chinese was not that good. So I try to push myself and I try to speak Chinese even though I cannot say the word, I try to describe them. For example, like I want to say um, pineapple. I want to say, um, yeah, you know, I really love the yellow, inside is yellow, outside is uh, that color and actually it's quite sour, this kind of this kind of fruit, what do you call it? So when I speak to my Chinese friend, my Chinese friend actually tell me like what is the Chinese word of this fruit? Like they're asking if it if it's pineapple, and then um, probably I'll say yeah, and then we're trying to use like internet, like Baidu to find out like the pictures of the fruit, and then actually my friend would tell me like oh this is. Poluo, Poluo. Then I try to, I try to ask uh, my friend like, how do you write it? Like Poluo. Oh, okay. So this is how this is how I write. We write that Poluo, and this is this is uh, pineapple in Chinese. So actually, that's one of the method that I use to speak with my friend. The second method is I actually go to supermarket a lot. So. Because in the supermarket, if you live in China, you can actually see the label of the of the product. Like for example, if you want to buy vinegar, or this is beer, if you want to buy vinegar or beer, you can actually see the label of the price tag on the, on the bottom of the shelf. You can see the Chinese word. And then if you don't know, Actually, it's much easier to find uh, the meaning now and how to read because um, now the phone you can actually use touch screen. Back then, I only use A B C to type down, and I try to put the strokes one by one. So now you can actually draw it uh, using your phone, and you can try to see what the meaning is. Yeah, that's the second method that I use to go to the supermarket the third the third method that I use is actually I go to the public market I go to order my own food and actually when I go to the wet market I actually have to have a chance or opportunity to talk to the auntie or the uncle who actually sell the vegetable or fruit or um, meat I can actually ask them like how do you how do you say this? How do you say that? How do you say this thing? How do you say that thing? Even though when I order my food, um, actually there's this kind of quite um, san or actually it's a fast food in China. So where they display all the all the all the food all the food like in front of you, and you can just choose and pick point of uh, the stuff, and then you can actually ask. Instead of you say this, that, this, that, actually you say, I want this, and then you ask, like, what is this? Like, what is this? You have to actually ask, and then when they say, this is or they, they say, like, yu, and then you want to know what kind of fish it is. You can ask, like, what what fish it is, like, this is yu. Then I'll know that uh, the the seller will say this is Lu Yu. Actually, a lot of stuff that actually I don't know how to say in English or Indonesian, but because I went to the market and then I buy the product, so I know how to say it in Chinese. So for example, 
um, uh, I went to buy mala, mala xiang guo or mala tang because mala tang and mala xiang guo is actually is a famous dish even like 10 years ago when I when I went to China so when I pick and choose my own stuff I actually ask them like what kind of mushroom is this so actually I say like oh this is pao gu pao gu then this one is the enoki mushroom is jing zheng gu so actually I know how to pronounce it um, you know like by talking to the seller when I buy something okay that's the that's the third method that I that I actually use to learn Chinese and then the fourth method actually uh, study <laughs> there's no other there's no other there's no other method other, um, other than study I think study and uh, review is is actually important for to improve our language and you know by study means like you don't have for me uh, um, I don't have to like read the Hanyu Jiao Cheng or like the Chinese book um, all the time but actually I can do actually by uh, reading newspaper or reading an article or I just buy like book the easiest book or I can start from manga or I can start from um, novel novel or I can start from yeah anything so reading reading is reading reading article and reading a magazine everything manga uh, or uh, yeah everything is actually helps a lot when it comes to studying your Chinese or actually you can watch manga yeah. Oh, that's the five, the fifth method that I actually use. The fifth method is actually to watch um, manga, to watch um, vlog, Chinese vlog or Chinese podcast, and I think yeah, uh, that's that's the thing. Chinese podcast, uh, watch manga, watch movie. And you can actually see the subtitles and you can actually try to understand uh, what they're talking about so that helps a lot and six the sixth method actually um, I can say the most important thing is Taobao okay with Taobao you can buy anything you want basically everything is in Taobao so using Taobao actually will helps you to learn uh, about your product about you know how to you know maybe you, you you know like this is clothes but in Chinese I can actually descri describe like this is long shelf clothes with um, um, uh, bird or actually uh, what I can actually see and to understand more about the description of the product for example like bag I got to know what it means uh, more for vocabulary when it comes to towel because they have the category of everything when it comes to buy uh, bag they have the choice like um, how do you say this even I don't know how to say it in English um, you want the pure color you want the polka dot you want the stripes you want the backpack you want the sling bag you want the a small carrier bag or um, anything or the cloth canvas bag or leather bag and I the description of the Chinese uh, name of the product is actually very very complete so when looking at the when looking at the product actually you can pay attention to the to the name of the product like for example you want to buy um, you want to buy like phone no no not phone or actually you can buy maybe like a PC you can actually see um, the Chinese term of motherboard the Chinese term of the CPU or the um, monitor or the yeah actually you can see a lot of things using Taobao or the Bluetooth uh, type or the 
a lot of details are of the camera resolution or stuff and the PC or the monitor resolution, monitor size and everything you can actually learn from Taobao actually and it's also fun at the same time so I think that's all six of the method that I actually use that actually I enjoy doing it I think that's it for now on how do I how did I study Chinese and see you in the next video bye bye